Hi everyone, welcome to video number 3 of energy and environment course. We know that the usage of fossil fuel causes problem to our planet and environment. So it is important to understand the systems of our planet that is the earth system. Earth is a complex system of interacting physical, chemical and biological process and provide a natural laboratories whose experiments have been running since the beginning of time. Our earth is roughly 4.5 billion year old and it is the only planet to, in our system to have surface liquid water. Also it is a home to the only known life in the universe. Earth is a dynamic system composed of four main highly interacting components or subcomponents and we call it different spheres of our Earth system. The first one is atmosphere. The Earth is surrounded by a blanket of air which we call the atmosphere. This atmosphere further composed of four unique layers. The troposphere, it contains 80% of all air. The stratosphere, this is responsible for most of the uh, ultraviolet radiation absorption. The mesosphere, it protects the Earth from the meteorite. The thermosphere, most meteorites burn up here. The atmosphere reaches over 350 miles up from the surface of the Earth and it is primarily composed of nitrogen, about 78% by volume, oxygen, about 21%, argon, about 0.93%, and other components like neon, helium, and hydrogen in small quantities. The second sphere is geosphere. Geosphere is the solid Earth that includes the continental and ocean crust as well as various layers of the Earth interior. 94% of the earth is composed of element oxygen, silicon and magnesium. The geosphere is not static, but its surface which is we call the crust is in constant state of motion and we also mine the mineral from uh, the geosphere. If we see different layers of the geosphere, so from the surface of the earth from 5 to 70 km we call it crust. If we go below then 2885 km we call it mantle and below that 25,000 km is the outer layer and then we have the final the inner layer which is 960 km. The third one is the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere contains all the water found on our planet. Water found on the surface of our planet includes the ocean as well as water from lakes, river, streams and creeks. Water found under the surface of our planet includes water trapped in the soil and groundwater. Frozen water on our planet includes ice caps and glaciers. Only about 3% of the water on the earth is fresh water and about 70% of the fresh water is frozen in the form of glacial ice. Further the distribution of fresh water is like we have 3% fresh water, that 3% if we look into uh, the distribution, 79% of the 3% is ice caps and glacier, 20% is groundwater, and only 1% is easily accessible surface fresh water. Then if we further see to the distribution of that 1%, so 52% water is in the lakes, 38% is soil moisture, 8% is atmospheric water vapor and 1% is in the rivers and the last 1% is accessible water in plants. So from here you can guess how much water is easily available for human being to use. The last one is the biosphere, the life zone of the earth which includes all living organisms and organic matter that has not yet decomposed is biosphere. The biosphere is structured into a hierarchy known as the food chain. All life is dependent on the first tier, mainly the primary producers that are capable of photosynthesis. Energy and mass are transferred from one layer of the food chain to the next. The biosphere is not a separate place, but we have life in the sea, which is hydrosphere. We have life in the atmosphere. So all this combined is the biosphere. Now all these spheres interact with each other and we as a human need to care of all four spheres. It's not like we are in the biosphere and we are the caretaker of the biosphere only. We need to understand that if we create problem to any of the sphere, the other spheres will also face the consequences. Here is a good example like earthquake. Earthquake happens in the geosphere and it can damage buildings which may kill people which is the biosphere as well as cause fires which releases gases into the air which is atmosphere. Earthquake in the ocean may cause a tsunami which is hyd hydrosphere which can eventually hit land and kill both animal and people again which is biosphere. So in short, a disturbance in any of the system or any of the sphere can cause problems to others. If you have learned something new, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos.